These are the packing peanuts that I'm dropping in a wall at the shower here that never had any. There's a bat that I tried. I was able to get one in there. That was a big mess. I had to hook a piece of pex on the end of it and a T-handle like a broom end and shove that down in there and then I hit obstacles of nails and over here is where I've got packing peanuts that I've added down in the wall and that was a way to uh, fill the wall. This is a tub shower unit and uh, it's on a corner of a house and it never had any insulation between the uh, tub fiberglass tub shower unit and the wall so it's always been cold and this was discovered after Katrina when we ripped out the sheetrock and uh, my experiment was to try to figure out how to get insulation down there without pulling out the shower so I did get a bat down in there and that was incredibly hard that was a piece of bat that was attached to a piece of thin PVC pipe uh, Actually, it was PEX that I hooked up with a bunch of fire, uh, duct tape and wired it together, and I jammed it down in there. And that was, it worked, but it was incredibly hard to do because there's nails in the wall because this is a corner wall for structural support that's got uh, plywood, plus it's also got the nails that go through for the blackboard and the brick. So what I've ended up doing here is since there's no uh, electrical wires or plumbing or anything in there, I've ended up just using packing peanuts and it's kind of a labor of love and just dropping the peanuts down in here. This wall's actually full right now and so the peanuts are in there you can drop it down and what that does that allows putting the peanuts down there it takes a long time to do but that was a way to go through and add insulation here so I'm filling up these walls here full of uh, peanuts that are ones that are uh, polystyrene not the ones that are disposable because uh, vermin will eat those so I've got packing peanuts here that I've used just a Taco Bell cup and pushed them down in here and if you hit the wall here back and forth they kind of settle but that is a way it fills the uh, uninsulated shower full of uh, insulation. So now there's insulation down the wall here so that when you take a shower in the winter or the summer you've got some uh, insulation to the outside wall. But this shower unit has always been really cold in the winter because you've got these the radiant heat of these walls that have always been cold even if you're running the heater and when we ripped the house apart after Katrina uh, noticed that the uh, there was no insulation there which was a good thing because I didn't have to take the shower out there's nothing no wet insulation but the bad thing is, is how in the world do you get the uh, insulation back in there how do you put some in just to do it and then everybody told me you couldn't get a bat in there and I got one in there and that was just a booger bear to stick in there to be blunt I tried a bunch of different things and the best thing I found was taking the bat and physically attaching the end of it to uh, I put a small 2x2 two two on the end of it and put a piece of PEX and then had it uh, screwed together and that was like a T-handle like the end of a broom and I forced that down in there and what I discovered is that there's nail heads down inside the wall or pieces of nail and so uh, I had obstruction so that was kind of a mess to how to get that in there that would work if there was no uh, pieces in the wall and so evolving now to the uh, packing peanuts is, seems like the way to go and it takes a lot of peanuts but what I've ended up doing is saving these things up for you know for about a year or so and I filled up the wall or you go buy the peanuts and drop them in there you want to use peanuts that are non-biodegradable. You want to use ones that are just like the material. And there's really not a fire hazard in here because they use these peanuts, any that type of material for the foam. And this corner of the house really has no electrical uh, things in it. It does have a light up on here. There's some hurricane braces that I've added on there. Some of these were put in when the house was done. 
there's other ones here that were added on and that's a corner of a house but this what this shower unit has always been incredibly cold and so the intent is to fill up this these voids with uh, insulation and how do you do that now you could pour foam in there that might be a way to go but then it's going to get stuck in there I, if I ever have to pull this out I don't want to foam the darn uh, shower in would be just kind of crazy uh, it'd probably be the quick way if you're just a flam bam contractors drop foam in there and let it expand but God, I can't imagine the mess to get that out but the peanuts fit in there real well once you fill it up if you bang on this they usually settle about a half a feet so I end up banging it back and forth and uh, the team seems like it fills up fairly well there's probably about a cubic foot or two in that one section so because uh, it goes all the way down to the floor